Hello and welcome to episode 127 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I'm going to show you the second leg of our Europa League round of 16 tie against Leeds United. I'll then play the uh, Serie A game against Palermo, my old club, off camera. And I'll then bring you back and show you the uh, Coppa Italia semi-final first leg away to Juventus. So let's get straight into it. And uh, the team for the Leeds United game is coming up in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, team that's going to go and try and overhaul that uh, two-goal deficit against uh, Leeds United. And it is Rossi in goal, back four of Laurenti, Bonello, L'Enfant and Bertrams. Bessie at the base of midfield, Mario and Tonchev ahead of him. Ludwania and Baldanzi on the wings and Stamenkovic up front. So let's submit the team. I'm going to give a team talk. Okay, well, my assistant is recommending we uh, stress the importance of home advantage. Um, I think we need to uh, do something slightly different. So let's pump the fists and tell them to go and get revenge seeing as we lost 2-0 in the first leg. So let's uh, go into the tunnel, do a tunnel interview. Uh, you're about to take charge of your first match at Lazio, as Lazio manager. Can I sum up my feelings? Uh, it's a special day. Uh, both teams come into this one and spell a poor form. Is this therefore a good opportunity to step up and arrest your recent struggles? It's a great opportunity to shake off our malaise. Um, how much has your recent poor form influenced the decision to change things up tactically? I wasn't aware that I had. Um, I need to find answers to the questions people are asking. Okay, let's get into the match. As always, first 10 minutes we'll uh, just see how things go and then we'll uh, address things accordingly. But we do need goals, so a demand more is... Oops, we're a little bit fast. If I can just slow it down for you. And I've already missed a goal. We're 1-0 up. So uh, one of the two goals is uh, recovered. And we could really do with getting the second one back before half-time just to uh, give us a puncher's chance at least of uh, winning the tie in the second half. So let's demand more again and see how that goes down. Largely okay, but a little bit of uh, an adverse reaction in the defence. So I think maybe we encourage after half time and possibly make a couple of changes so um, changes wise in fact I'm gonna leave it as it is we're playing well so don't change it um, don't lose faith we can do this um, is there anybody on the bench that could potentially change things up I'm not convinced actually so I think I'm going to leave it and in fact no I'll take Bonello off and we'll bring on uh, Belossian and let's get out there for the second half bearing in mind we need one more goal to level the scores and uh, two more to take the win. As uh, Laurenti wins his header. Laurenti to Bessie. Mario to Sunchev. Uh, it's played forward into the area. Stamenkovic cuts it back. And Marian Sunchev has got us level on aggregate. 
On the night, it is Lazio 2, Leeds United 0. 2-2 on aggregate, and we only need one more goal. And now we're uh, starting to uh, run into some tired players. We'll bring on uh, Kasimi on the right-hand side. We'll bring on uh, Giuseppe Martino on the left and uh, see if we can win the uh, ball back we do Kasimi into Stamenkovic he loses it but we've won it straight back Kasimi to Sunchev and Marian Sunchev smashes it into the back of the net 3-0 to Lazio on the night now we're ahead for the first time in the tie 3-2 on aggregate and we just need to hold on for 20 minutes to uh, progress to the next round and inside the last 15 minutes hopefully we've got some uh, substitutions left and um, we'll bring on uh, Sancha for Bessé and we'll also bring on I'll bring off Laurenti and bring on uh, Christian Latanzio and we'll swap him to right back and confirm those changes we've got 10 minutes to hold on for a 3-0 win on the night and 3-2 on aggregate and that would be quite the introduction to our reign at Lazio. And it is Vega with the throw in. Sutherland's cross. The header is just over the top. And it very nearly forced extra time. We've got another couple of minutes to go. We've got a corner. Mario, it's headed away. And Silvino Luis brings it away. Finds Ferrari. And he plays it through. It's crossed. And the shot is wide. We get away with that. That should be the final act of the match. And there is your full-time whistle. 3-0 on the night. 3-2 to Lazio on aggregate. And I'll be back in a moment with the second match of the episode. Okay, well, after a horrible performance in losing 3-2 to my former club, Palermo, in the league, attention now turns to the uh, Coppa Italia, the first leg of the semi-final, and uh, the team to go and play against Juventus is Rossi in goal, back four of Laurenti, Belossian, Bonello and Bertrams, L'Enfant at the base of midfield, Tonchev and Baldanzi ahead of him, L Ludwenia and Kasimi on the wings, and Stamenkovic up front. So let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, well my uh, assistant uh, is suggesting we go with, the pundits might not believe in us today, but the fans do. So go out there and do them proud. I think that's entirely reasonable. So let's um, point the finger and agree with that suggestion. And let's go into the tunnel for a quick tunnel interview. Um, so we've struggled a little of late, uh, but your opponents are re uh, riding the quest of a wave. Do you anticipate another bad day at the office today? Um, it's going to be a difficult game. Of course it is. Uh, we're up against a very good team. Clearly, we're not playing anywhere near our best. Um, so, if it continues as it is, it will be a tough 90 minutes. Made it clear the uh, performance against Palermo wasn't good enough. So, what needs to change? We need to score more goals. Um, so, we need to uh, stick to the plan. We'll go with that. First goal's crucial. Yeah, nice to start well, absolutely. And let's get out there and do exactly that. So, given that we're away from home, I'm going to drop and encourage even before the 10 minutes uh, that we normally wait is up. We're actually starting quite well. And it is uh, Denia with the ball in. It's uh, flicked on and uh, Rossi makes a comfortable save so we can build from the back. 
Bonello comes out, plays it to Belossian, to Laurenti on the left, forward for Luduenia. Sonchev is uh, not able to gather it, but we keep possession. Bertram's on the right, plays it back to Bonello. Sonchev to L'Enfant, down the left for Luduenia. Plays it back to Laurenti, Sonchev into L'Enfant, back to Belossian, over the top for Laurenti, Luduenia's cross, Kasimi with the far post header, and he puts it wide. So 10 minutes gone, and things are going quite well. We're on the attack again, but we've given it away. Joffrey comes forward, just don't give away a penalty, and that's exactly what we've done. And uh, there's no doubt this is a penalty. It's gone to VAR, but it's going to be a spot kick. The only question is, will the ref take any further action? There's the confirmation it is a penalty. But we get away with it and there's no further uh, action in terms of cards. But Vlajevic from the spot. Uh, Rossi goes the right way but can't keep it out. And we're 1-0 down. So let's demand more and see if we can get back into this. 15 minutes gone, 1-0 down. Not the ideal start, but given that it's a two-leg match, we need to stay in it and not go ridiculously chasing it. Right, Sonchev looks like he's going to struggle to uh, come out for the second half. Uh, Kasimi, back to Bertram's. Crossfield ball for uh, Laurenti, Laduena to Laurenti, back to Sonchev. He hits a shot and it's deflected behind by the Juventus goalkeeper. So we are at least showing some attacking threat. Uh, Baldanzi's ball in and uh, Yusufu makes a comfortable catch. So I think we're looking at at least two changes at half time at the moment. As uh, Zabani finds Dorrington, Dorrington to Zabani, Zabani has it back, Dorrington to Zabani again, and they are playing with fire. If we can just press them a little bit more, we can win this back. And uh, it's back with Zabani, but he's managed to find a way out. Joffrey into uh, Batili, uh, Denya. To Trinino, and it's uh, Denya on the left hand side, cuts it in field, and it's crossed in. The keeper spills it, and Joffrey puts it in the net, and it is Juventus 2, Lazio 0. Okay, it's uh, Denya with the throw in now, and uh, Trinino. We've won it back, Baldanzi to uh, Kasimi, but uh, we've lost out and it's all the way through to Rossi in goal. Belossian to Sonchev, Laduena to Laurenti, Belossian, Bonello into Sonchev, long form of the ball forward, uh, Batili to Joffre. Tonino to Lavia, Vlajevic plays it back to Dorrington, Tonino, and it's played forward down there, left-hand side, uh, Denya crosses it in, and the uh, ball comes back off the keeper, and Amara Batili puts it in the back of the net, we're 3-0 down, and this ties as good as over, so we need to uh, demand more. And uh, let's see if we can uh, fix things in the remaining part of the match. And uh, it is. Tinino crosses it in and the uh, flicked header from Joffrey and it's 4-0. This game is absolutely up and the tie probably is as well. And uh, there is the halftime whistle, 4 0 down. Um, we're going to thrash the arms, um, tell them they were terrible. We're going to make 
multiple changes. So we'll take the left back off, Laurenti, and bring on Cedric Bess. Uh, we'll take off Sonchev and bring on Sanka. And we'll take off Benello and bring on Bresci. And also Baldanzi and bring on Duhalde. Right, let's go and play the second half. And let's see if we can uh, do something about the uh, damage from the first half. Demand more, we're going attacking. And it's uh, almost the hour mark. We've got one more substitute remaining. We'll take Bertram's off. And uh, we will bring on the Latanzio. And let's see if we can uh, manage to at least get a goal back to make the game uh, competitive in the second leg. And at the moment, that's not going to happen. And uh, we're into the final 10 minutes. So Bresci to Lonfont. And it's given away to Shera. But Stamenkovic has intercepted and put it in the back of the net. And it is, finally, Juventus 4, Lazio 1. We've got one back. Can we get another one? And into the final couple of minutes. And uh, it looks like it's going to end at 4-1. And it does. So into the dressing room and uh, tell them they weren't good enough. And I'll be back in a moment to uh, conclude the episode and tell you what's coming up on the next one. Okay, so uh, following that heavy defeat to Juventus in the Coppa Italia uh, semi-final first leg, uh, on the next episode, I'm going to show you the uh, Europa League quarter-final. We don't yet know who we'll face, but I'll show you both legs of that one on the, uh, the next episode. And uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.